time to go farming now. Dad's strength's gonna work some ground. I'm gonna go get the planter out of the building, put it on the 4430, and then we are going to uh, unfold it, check it over, see if we need to fix anything. So farming has officially started. So we're heading over to get the uh, corn planter out of the building. Uh, we gotta move the combines around. We might have to pull the grain cart out, I can't remember. But I know for sure I gotta move one combine, so hopefully the old 1660's not too moody and it'll start right up and get out of the way, which it should. It's a cleaner I'm worried about if I gotta move it, because usually sometimes if it sits for more than more than four or five months, the fuel bleeds back on it, and sometimes it is a bear to get bled back out and get running. So we'll see. So We'll see what we got when we get there. So Dad's following me with the pickup. He's got our uh, 325 uh, Miller Welder Trailblazer with the uh, jump starter on it. So if it's moody, we'll be able to uh, jump start it with the welder, and get it running. So, but it should start it's not too cold out right now and it has been too cold out it's got good batteries and good battery cables on it that was the one thing i fought on the old leaner for a while is it wouldn't start very or turn over very quick so uh, i put all new battery cables on it and that made a world of difference so if you got an old leaner combine it's not starting very easy when it's cold out change the battery cables and put new batteries on it huge difference so anyways I'm going to drive over to the building and then we'll get the planter out. Well, I kind of didn't realize that my power unit for the Trummel's in the way. The Gleaner's in the wrong spot. So this is going to be fun. So we definitely got to take both cow mines out and my power unit for the Trummel. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. Oh, and the antifreeze is leaking out of the Gleaner. Great. Well, the Gleaner's out. It gave me a fight, but we got it. We had to reprime it and give it some starting fluid. So now we're getting 1660 out. We got to do some work on this this summer. It's uh, pretty much gutted inside. We got the concaves all out of it. Key stock grates are all out of it. They uh, broke the last couple rounds last fall of picking corn, so we got to get them and put them all back in. We're going to order them all new and put them in it. That's why the one spreader was off of it. Now I got to 4430. I'm going to back in here and... Uh, Hook me up a corn planter. Got three point inch down. Probably can't do this while on the phone. I don't know how good I am. I might get it. Oh yeah. I got it. I think. Well, we got the corn planter hooked up. Now we're gonna put the combine back away.
we got the planter home. Wilson is already checking it out to make sure there's nothing uh, wrong. He says that it's ready to go. I don't believe you, Wilson. There's always a problem. So, got it home here. We're going to get the fold box put in a tractor. Going to get the monitor put in a tractor. Get the duels put back on a tractor for sure. Because there ain't no way. She's got plenty of horsepower, but she don't have plenty of traction without the duels. So, got to get the radar calibrated. Unless Dad remembers his calibration number. I hope he wrote it down. If not, we're going to have to go through the whole procedure. Which I need to do that with the 49 before I start uh, pulling the air seeder with it. That's one thing I need to do this year is recalibrate my monitor. So, planner's going to get ready. I got to get the old Kenworth up here and get it ready because we're going to be hauling some liquid fertilizer with the uh, new tanker. So, I got to get the truck checked over, greased, brakes adjusted and stuff like that. Get it ready to go. Um, right now I'm waiting. I've got uh, two loads of Beck seed corn and seed beans coming from M&R Ag Service. They're going to deliver those tonight, so we're going to have some seed. And then tomorrow morning, uh, uh, we're going to be getting a load of Pioneer from uh, Keith Werner from Werner Farms. You may watch Keith on uh, YouTube. Uh, he has the YouTube channel Werner Farms. They're over in Hannah, Indiana, which is... Oh, about 20 minutes, let's see, what would it be, 20 minutes north west of us would be uh, where they're located, so they're not too far away, so uh, I'm going to get the feller buncher moved out of the way, get the brush mower moved out of the way, so that when they bring the seed, I can uh, come in and out of the building easily with the bobcat, and I have to worry about backing into anything. And I gotta get the duels for the tractor. They're tucked over there behind the feller buncher between it and the one hopper bottom. So I gotta do that. And then uh, we're going to uh, get them unloaded, get them back on their way so they're not out too late tonight. So, and then I gotta get my uh, seed tender hooked up to my pickup and get it checked over. I got a, uh, got a brand new uh, speed tender from J&M last, last year thing worked out great no more have to haul the bobcat to the field to dump pro boxes and my hopper on the air seeder just put them in here at the shop i can put like three or four well i think i can put almost four boxes in it and that's enough to get me going for oh half a day at least so it worked out great having a seed tender now and it's a hell of a lot better than dumping all them bags up until last year i handled everything with bags and that was a lot of work. So if you're handling bags, I suggest getting you a uh, seed tender because it makes life so much easier, especially if you can get boxes. They're easier to store. You don't have to worry about bags getting ripped. So anyways, I'm going to start working on this corn planter and wait on them uh, two loads of seed to get here, and then I'm going to unload them with a bobcat. Well, we got the tractor and planter tucked in the shop, and... Uh, Kind of run out of time tonight, so uh, we're going to get started on this tomorrow afternoon, get it greased, get all the chains oiled, uh, clean all the seed tubes, clean all the eyes, and uh, get our uh, seed rate set and our transmission, and uh, get the tractor set up with the monitor, fold box, all that, and... Uh, We'll be ready to plant some corn come Monday. So hopefully we'll get started Monday as long as we don't get any rain. So uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be probably a challenging spring like it usually is, but we'll see. Hopefully everything holds together and there's not a lot of breakdowns and we'll get done, get it done fast, timely, and get back to moving some dirt. So I am excited to take a week or two here and. Uh, do some farming and it's kind of like recess you know it's like a it's a vacation basically a working vacation but it kind of breaks the monotony of all the dirt moving and all that so it's kind of nice to have a little break get in the tractors go cover some ground so we're gonna get going here pretty soon gotta get this buncher moved out of the way but 
going to go too far with it because we just finally got the uh, one grapple cylinder back for it. $1,700 custom made cylinder for it. Yeah, that was a costly mistake on my part. But anyway, it's all good. We'll be able to fix it now. And uh, I got a full new set of teeth for it. So we're going to get those changed. That's going to be in another video. I'll show you the teeth real quick. Yeah, oh, the blade's spinning. The blade kind of coasts while it's running. I don't know if the, the valve bypasses a little hydraulic oil that turns the blade on and off. But it does that. I mean, don't take nothing to stop it. You just sit it down on the ground and it'll stop. So, but anyways, yeah, it's going to be a whole other episode. Dad, Strength, and I are going to fix the feller buncher or finish fixing it. So if you remember from the video before, that uh, cylinder, it broke the end of the rod off. The nut actually broke off. And uh, the plunger wouldn't move the piston, or the piston wouldn't move the rod, so nothing would happen. So now we got everything that's going to be fixed. Put it back together, and I'll have my grapple again, which was a bear without it. And then we're going to put all new teeth on it. So that'll be a whole nother episode. We'll go through that. So... Anyways, getting this moved out of the way, and I'm gonna go clean in the building a little bit because I got quite a few pallets coming, so I gotta make quite a bit of room. I know one thing: if you want a uh, good heavy built brush mower for your excavator, buy a diamond. This bobcat will lift about 3,500 pounds. It's a T300, and this mower is about all at once. So. She's pretty heavy built, very tough mower. I love this mower. This thing, I've got, I think I just posted a video about it, but if you want a good brush mower, Diamond is the one to get a hold of. They make some good quality stuff. That is for damn sure. I, I really like it. Very, very toughly built. Well, I got all the bags of beans unloaded. And now I'm working on loading corn, or unloading corn, not loading corn, unloading corn. But uh, all my bags, I got them set in here. Well, that's not all of them. I've got some boxes too. These bags, I'm gonna dump in boxes and pro boxes, then I'll be able to put them in my seed tender with Bobcat. Because the Bobcat don't lift high enough to get a bag over the side of the seed tender. So I gotta dump them in boxes first. But that's all right, no big deal. It's fine with me. Still easier than handling these little bags. Kind of hard to run a bobcat with uh, one hand. Uh, need to get a new joystick control teleskit so I can do that. Poor bullet truck needs taken out this, this summer. two loads of seed I uh, got quite a bit more to get yet but anyways I'd like to thank uh, Sarah and Roger and Mick from uh, M&R Ag Service for uh, the very good sales and service and uh, speedy delivery so we can get planting this weekend so thank you guys for that we greatly appreciate it so uh, they're our local Bex dealer if uh, you need any seed from Bex, uh, get a hold of them at m and Service, and uh, they will take care of you like they take care of us. So anyways, I'm going home. I'm going to get some supper. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give me a like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it.